Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the Hotcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have this amazing specimen here, who is, as I'm sure pretty much all of you know, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan. And we also have the Rhode Island governor, Gina Raimondo, Democrat, of course who has been in Gina's case she has been telling everyone to stay at home stay at home stay at home on penalty of everything you can think of but she was caught in a wine bar eating the most grandest meal there was loads of people around she had no face covering on whilst she was telling people to stay at home don't ever go out you're not allowed to meet anyone the same thing Nancy Pelosi did, the same thing Gavin uh, Newsom did, the same thing the, um, I can't remember her name, but she's a, I believe she's a counsellor in Los Angeles. They just keep doing it. And in Gretchen Whitmer's case, she's about to tell you that Christmas is cancelled in just the most bizarre and Orwellian fashion. So let's get into this video clips. I've got some clips to watch. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video around. Share it, retweet it. I'm on different platforms, BitChute, Parlor. There's a little share button down there and a subscribe button. It really helps this channel grow. Okay, let's go. Okay, first off, we have what Miss Gretchen Orwell has to say. Thank you for joining us. I'm Governor Gretchen Whitmer, and I'm really excited to be here with all of you and I she's excited to impose tyranny on innocent people we'll put it that way i also know someone who's been really following the rules and making sure that he stays safe and the elves stay safe and it's not your husband because if you can remember he is the one who went out trying to boat on the water because apparently he is the well, he is the husband of Queen um, Gretchen Whitmer, but he thought because he is the husband of the Queen, the Queen Tyrant, he could go out on the water and do his thing. Now, isn't this scene here the most disturbing thing? And I think you know why. And so my special guest is Santa Claus. Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Does anyone have a question for Santa Claus? Yes. Santa, why are you doing this? Why are you taking part in such a blatant... Um, what's the best term to use? An example of propaganda being foisted onto the innocent because you know that they think you're real and that if they don't do what you say they won't get a present santa do you have to wear a mask when i'm in my workshop with all my elves we all are masked up in social distancing Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. Hey, can you read out cookies and milk? I'll go send Jared for the reindeer this year. Yes, please do. Set up carrots and cookies if you can. We'll also also take hand sanitizer and food out with the cookies and milk. That was a good suggestion. These are these are innocent you younglings, man. And you've got them hyper focused on social distancing and face coverings and hand sanitizer when we know and the people who shout from the rooftops follow the science follow the science they should know this if they follow the science that um children are for whatever reason they should know much more than me if they do follow the science but all i know for some reason is that children are almost immune to Rona unless they have, wait for it, pre-existing health conditions. But I just find it sad as much as it's bizarre and quite frankly gross that people who are at an age when I was their age 
I was at Christmas. I was worrying about what um, Atari game I was going to get. I think at that time I was even holding out for a Sega Mega Drive. Instead, they're worrying about masks, social distancing, and uh, sanitizers, hand sanitizers, not brain sanitizers, which is I think I think what Miss Gr uh, Gretchen Whitmer needs. Yeah. Everyone has been testing negative. We're still getting tested. I think we're so far up north that it might not be getting to us. Oh! Everyone's been testing negative. But they keep getting tested. And then you can see he looks up because he's trying to... You know that he has to... He has... To make it sound as bad as possible. They're trying to scare the kids. So he's saying, oh, well, it must be because we're so far up north. It doesn't reach us up here. Ooh. So what you're saying is, essentially, that um, it should disappear with the first frosts. Isn't that what Trump said? And you all called him out for that. That it would disappear with the cold. That's what Trump said. Is it because Trump's not Santa? Santa can say that. So, essentially, when you do wear the covering, you do social distance, you do use hand sanitizers, you do even get the shot, which I know they're rolling out all over the place now, and you still have to worry about it. But we're not going to take any chances. We're all going to mask up. We're all going to wash our hands. And we're all going to stay six feet apart. Thank you. Hi, how can we keep people safe for Christmas? What I would suggest to do is what the governor is telling all the people of the great state of Michigan to do. Social distance. Listen to the governor. Listen to Frog Whitmer. Don't listen to your parents. Ooh. Don't listen to what they say. Listen to what the state says. That's what a good prole does. That's what a good com uh, comrade does. You listen to the state. Distance. Wash your hands. And make sure you wear your mask when you're outside your home. And another way to stay safe during the holiday is to stay home but call your how many times have they said that uh, i know i keep interrupting i mean we've only got through two minutes of this and it seems like every three seconds they say that grandparents and why don't you stay home gretchen whitmer and your husband who likes to go boating your cousins and your family and it's the safest way to tell the people you love how much you care about them <laughs> So there you had it. We'll go back and listen again. What she's saying is, war is peace, up is down, down is up, black is white, white is black. She's saying the safest way to, the, the, the way to, to tell your family and friends that you love them is to not associate with them. Safe during the holiday is to stay home but call your grandparents and your cousins and your family and it's the safest way to tell the people you love how much you care about them. This year it has to look a little bit different so we can stay safe. And I appreciate all of you doing your part. Santa, thank you so much for making time for us today. Let's hear your best ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. Good grief. These two up here, Santa and Whitmer, these are, the, make no mistake about this, they are the definitions of wolves in sheep's clothing. Next, we're over to Gina Raimondo, who has the face covering in her profile picture, which goes halfway to telling you who she is. Obviously, she's a Democrat. Um, so this is what she says. And she said this, uh, just over almost two weeks ago she said this but we've got something newer than that this isn't like old news I'm saying that two weeks after closer to the holidays 
then she said this she goes and does what i'm about to show you but let's read this it's week two for our pause oh really i think it's almost uh into year two i would say i know it's been hard no you don't but i want to thank every rhode islander who's following our guidance well it's not guidance is it because guidance is something that's suggested to you and you have a choice whether or not you want to follow that guidance what you're doing is not guidance it is um an ultimatum what you've done to small businesses is criminal you've held uh, essentially you've held a gun to their head and you've told them that you've got two choices you can either allow your business to dissolve into nothing along with all of the people that restaurant in california in los angeles that restaurant they have 60 employees none of whom have got any money to spend on christmas but uh, if you've watched this video all the way through you will know according to gretchen whitmer the only thing you have to worry about this year is buying plenty of masks and hand sanitizer that's all you have to worry about according to her so anyway let's get back to this so she's saying that this guidance please stay home except for essential activities keep that phrase in mind essential activities because what is essential to one person is non-essential to somebody else and you're going to see in a moment what accounts for essential in the eyes of gina raimondo and wear a face covering keep that in mind anytime you're with people you don't live with together we can turn our case numbers around a noble cause gina raimondo okay now look at this this is one gina raimondo photo uploaded 21 hours ago that's two weeks after she told you and all those decent rhode islanders who follow her laws to her letter the laws she doesn't herself and this is a running theme with democrats here she is in a wine bar bearing in mind she is funded by the taxpayer okay she doesn't produce anything they don't process food they don't work on the farms they produce nothing if you understand what i mean so they go into office and they just end up wherever they go they just end up increasing the cost of everything and then they siphon off a portion of that money for themselves so here she is enjoying in a wine bar tax essentially taxpayer funded wine the finest food you can think of there's a christmas tree in the background there all of the things you're told you're not allowed to have yet again democrat politicians are enjoying all the things they tell you to your face you're not allowed we've got to get through this all together they say straight faced looking you dead in the eye they tell you all of these things knowing that to them and to their friends and family and their high power elites it's bs to them they don't have to do it they don't have to go through with it because they believe that they are better than you they believe that they have a right to not abide by rules they believe that you and me are the hoi polloi they believe that we're peasants and them as essentially the landed nobility can behave in any manner they like that's how they're acting i recognize these things i'm an englishman obviously i like a lot of history military history all kinds of history i recognize certain attitudes even if it's hundreds of years after those attitudes um generally died out and all of what i've noticed here from the democrat side is always been this type of landed nobility and peasant mindset with them again seeing themselves as landed nobility and us as peasants so there you go there is the rhode island governor gina raimondo enjoying a steak i should imagine i don't know what she's eating but it would be something luxurious 
and the finest wine on the taxpayer whilst you sit at home with piles and piles of face coverings and hand sanitizer and toilet roll stacked up to the mountain cowering in your basement watching cnn through a black and white television just waiting for the next command from the gina raimondos of the world and the gretchen whitmers anyway thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think in the comment section below if you haven't yet please like subscribe hit the notification bell there's a little notification bell down there next to the subscribe button it's more important now than ever because youtube is trying to section off independent commentary and differing opinions from the mainstream media thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye